What's going on people? So I'm up in the gym about to hit my second chest workout of the week. Now a lot of people think when it comes to building chest that the only thing you need to do is the bench press. Now whereas the bench press is the best overall exercise for chest development, there are actually other exercises which you can perform that will help build your chest up. So I decided to go ahead and make a video outlining just three of my favorite chest building exercises. We're going to be working our upper chest, our side chest, and our lower chest. So just go ahead and sit back, enjoy this video, and let me know what you think in the comments below. Hey people and welcome back to the commentary section of the video. Now the first exercise I want to show you is the dumbbell chest fly. So when you're setting up for this exercise, you want to make sure you have that nice arch in your back at the top of your shoulder blades on the bench. And when you're setting up for the movement, you want to make sure you start out with the dumbbells up in the air. And when you come down, you want to do so in a nice slow and controlled manner. Get that nice stretch, that nice wide stretch. And when you're coming back up, you want to make sure that you squeeze your chest at the top, thus working your chest. Like I said, this works in your side chest and your lower chest. For me, I prefer using the dumbbells over the cables because I feel like I have a more free range of motion than a fixed one in comparison to the cables. This workout makes for a great exercise after the incline bench, after the flat bench, just to enhance that pump and build up that side and lower chest. So the second exercise I want to show you is the dumbbell pullover. Now with this exercise on setting up, you want to make sure that you have your shoulder blades on the bench and bridge your body in a way that's comfortable for you while keeping your neck straight. Now when you're starting out with the movement, you want to start out with both hands on the dumbbell, the dumbbell in the air. You want to move that dumbbell back in a slow and controlled manner, keeping the arms as straight as possible. And you want to kind of build that mind-muscle connection to the chest with this workout so to make sure you're not working your triceps or your arms. Um, what I like to do is envision that it's something in between my chest and when I'm going back and coming back up, I'm squeezing my chest, trying to squeeze whatever object that is in the middle of my chest, that imaginary object. And then once you get to the top, you wanna just go up and down in a pressing motion just to further work your chest before completing another rep the exact same way. Now I do this for normally 10 to 12 reps. Like I said, it's a good workout for the upper chest and it enhances that pump. So the last exercise I wanna show you is dips, chest variation. Now you wanna make sure that you start off with your shoulders rolled back. This takes the tension off of your arms and places it in your chest. And you wanna go down in a slow controlled manner, coming back up when you go down you want to make sure that the tricep is actually parallel with the ground. And once again, you want to build that mind-muscle connection with the chest with this exercise. As you can see, when I'm coming back up, you can see that I'm working my chest because you can see that my chest is rising up. And like I said, this is a great lower chest exercise, a great finisher, and a great way to get into working a tricep after. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And go ahead and check out my other videos. I have a lot of workout tutorial videos ranging from cardio to push days, pull days, leg workouts, and other nutritional videos. So go ahead and check those out. Give those a thumbs up if you can for me and uh, subscribe to my channel. And I'll catch you in that next video. Peace.